I train for aesthetic reasons. I don't train to bodybuild or be in any type of competition or anything like that. I train simply because I want to look good. Hello guys, I'm Tamara LaShawn. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're not, welcome back. is going to be a three month weight gain journey update if you haven't been following me on tiktok or instagram i had started a weight gain journey when i got back from my deployment because i had lost about all the weight i gained while i was on the deployment when i got back because of me being sick from the weather change and i guess like the environment change so i went back on a weight gain journey when i got back from my deployment in the beginning of april so my weight gain journey started on april 21st and i started at 106.6 pounds i was 33 inches on my glutes and my waist was a 23 and a half in inches so my highest weight that i've been so far as far as like these past couple years that i've been working out i think has been 115 and as far as my glutes go, I don't think I've passed 35 and a half. My goal currently is 37, maybe 38 inches. So even though I did take my measurements every week, I'm just gonna go through my monthly measurements because reading off all of those weeks is gonna be a lot. So like I said, I had started off at 100.6 pounds. 23 and a half inches on my waist and 33 inches on my glutes. Now, my first month, I only gained half an inch on my glutes. So my weight was 108.6, my waist was 23 and a half, and then my glutes were 33 and a half inches. And what happened there was because I did gain a full inch, but I had got braces and I wasn't able to eat for about a week. So when that happened, I lost the weight because I lose and gain weight pretty easily. So not eating for a couple of days does make me lose weight. So my first month, I only gained half an inch. For month two, I was at 112 pounds. My waist was 24 and a half inches and my glutes were 35 inches. So between month one and month two, I gained an inch and a half in my glutes. And I think it was mostly because I had consistently started taking my creatine. The first month, it was kind of hard for me to take it, so I didn't take it as much as I should have. I kept forgetting a couple of days, but I think the inch and a half was really good because that's over what you could gain in a month. Typically, it's about an inch a month for glute gains. We had a brief little intermission because my camera was overheating, so. <laughs> but. So at three months, which was the 21st of July, my weight was 116.6 pounds. My waist was 25 inches and then my glutes were 35 and three fourths. And um, for visual representations, 35 and three fourths is like a little bit closer to like 36. I'll put the video right here of like exactly where that's at. So in three months, I gained almost three inches and honestly, I'm really proud of my progress and I can't wait to see what I'll be like in another three months. Like I said, my goal is about 37 to 38 inches. I'm just going along as I see like how my body looks. And once I feel like I get to a good glute goal, then I plan on doing a body recomp to lose fat. And so I can keep my muscle at the same time as well. Common question I've been getting is my workout split. So on monday i do quads and glutes my first four exercises are quad focus and my last two exercises are glute isolation exercises so that's why it's a quad and glute day and not just a quad day since i am mostly focused on my glutes i do train them three times a week for growth purposes because i work different parts of my glutes on different days and i work one part more than the other because of my goal on Tuesday and Thursday, I do cardio and occasionally I will do an upper body day, but with no weight. So I'll do like body weight exercises or I'll do resistance band. That's only if I feel like it. I definitely do make sure I at least try to do the cardio. Sometimes I've skipped it. Sometimes I do it. I do some type of cardio, whether that's the Stairmaster, treadmill walk, 
um, roller skating, jump roping. I do just some type of cardio on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Wednesday, it's my glute isolation day, which is about five to six exercises. And like I said, I take two different exercises for my quad day. And then also for my hamstring day, I do the same thing, which is on Friday. So Fridays, I do hamstrings and glutes. So my first four exercises are hamstring focused and the last two exercises are from my glute isolation day. That way I can make sure I'm working not only all parts of my glutes, but the parts that I need to emphasize more based off my glute shape. One thing I am doing different with this weight gain journey is training for my body shape and my glute shape. I have an inverted triangle body shape, which is basically where my shoulders are wider than the lower part of my body. So my shoulders are the widest part of my body, so it creates a triangle. I think they still are at this point, but you can tell less that they aren't. So at one point, my shoulders were the widest part of my body. So when I used to do my weight gain journeys, I was not really focused on body shape, but I was trying to figure out why I didn't like the shape of my body. And it was because of that. I started researching body shapes and figured out, oh, like I need to be working out for my body shape and not just doing a random workout split because I was doing upper body and I was working my upper body as much as my lower body as far as weight goes. So my upper body was getting bigger and so was my lower body and I didn't like how it looked. I'm not saying it's a bad look, but me personally, that's just not how I want it to look. I think it looks good regardless, but it's not my aesthetic. I train for aesthetic reasons. I don't train to bodybuild or be in any type of competition or anything like that. I train simply because I want to look good. So me doing upper body was just not a good idea, which is why I stopped doing it because it was not shaping my body the way I wanted to. I want more of an hourglass figure. So in order to do that, I can't be working on my upper body as much, as much as I would love to, because I did like doing upper body. I can't do that right now because it's not gonna fill out my body the way I want it to. That was something that I wish I would have known previously. So definitely train for your body shape. I do have articles on my website, which is LaShawn Fit, on how to find your body shape, how to find your glute shape. And I also have videos on my TikTok on what you should be training if you want an hourglass figure based off your body shape. So for my glute shape, I have A-shaped glutes and it's in the form of a trapezoid and it carries most of the fat in the bottom portion of the glutes. It is pretty similar to a heart shape, but the difference is there's not as much definition in the hip area. So my focus has mostly been my glute maximus, which is the lower portion of the glutes to just lift that up and the glute minimus to fill in my prominent hip dips. So you can't get rid of hip dips, so you can build muscle around the area to make them less noticeable. So that's what I've been doing to do that. So the last thing I want to talk about is creatine. I've been taking creatine the whole three months that I've been on this weight gain journey and I did stop taking it for about two weeks and I did notice a difference when I did stop taking it. So I definitely recommend it for muscle recovery and I do think it is helpful with my strength as well. Even though, like I said, I don't train for strength, I do feel myself getting stronger faster than I would when I was not taking creatine. So I take this type of creatine, it's blue raspberry flavor. I usually just take it like a shot kind of with a little bit of water and then I make sure I drink my water throughout the day as well. There's definitely help with muscle recovery, soreness, and just gaining muscle as well. I definitely don't think I would have gotten the progress that I did in the amount of time that I did without taking it. So I definitely recommend that. And if you want the creatine that I take, the link will be in the bio. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to check out my website, LaShawnFit.com. I have a glute guide available that is on sale. It has gym and home exercises for your glutes. And then I also have blog posts for calculating calories and protein, glute shapes, body shapes. And I think I have another one about hit and list cardio. So if you need any of that information, don't forget to check that out. Bye.